I will be cooking and take you guys step by step about how to cook this fantastic Yo, what is up guys? Cooking University here today guys. If you're looking for healthy recipes including this a good all easy garlic chicken recipe. Then you are in the right place. So without further ado, let's get into the ingredients. First things first, you need three tablespoons of butter. By the way guys, this is the unsalted butter. You can get salted, unsalted, doesn't really matter. Next things next, you need four skinless chicken breasts cut into halves. So I have three unfortunately, and yeah, these are still frozen, see? Two teaspoons of garlic powder. One teaspoon of seasoning salt. And last but not least, one teaspoon of olive oil. Onion powder. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. First things first, 24 hours before you cook this tasty recipe, make sure to get the chicken out of the freezer and put it into the fridge. Well, I didn't thaw out for 24 hours. It was more like five hours. So it was still frozen. Cut three tablespoons of butter and put it into the skillet. And it says put the skillet on medium high heat, but obviously I was not putting on medium high heat because it would be splattering everywhere. So, I put it on medium low heat, and which is what I highly recommend you do. And now what you use, you get the chicken out, and you cut the fat off. And as you can tell, it's still pretty frozen, because I thawed it out like five hours before making this. Maybe even four. But we all make mistakes, don't we? But I'm be for real though, my hand was frozen. Like, I could barely even feel it after cutting the fat off the chicken. I was pretty upset. But this is why I say medium low heat, because while I was cutting the chicken, that butter was boiling just a little bit. Not too much. So that's good. You can even cut cook the butter on low heat, not medium low, and it'll still melt while you're cutting the chicken. Place the chicken into the skillet, and then set the timer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just did 11 minutes because I felt like 11 minutes was enough, and I kept the temperature on medium low heat. I interrupt this video to give a humongous shout out to I bought the place where if you buy certain groceries from a certain grocery store, you get cash back on the groceries that you bought. I just saved a ton of money off some of the meat ingredients, of this recipe. All you gotta do is just use my referral code when you sign up, link in the description below or subtitled right around here. And once you submit your first receipt on Ibotta, you get an extra $10 back on the groceries that you bought. But that is only if you use my referral code. And the best part about Ibotta is that it's 100% completely free. Only when you sign up though. Well actually, it's free if you sign up. Yeah, it's, it's free either way. And I would love to put a disclaimer on this video to say that I also make $10 cash back on my body too when you sign up using my referral code. And while the chicken was cooking, I made sure to sprinkle the chicken with garlic powder, seasoning salt, and onion powder. Once those 11 minutes were up, or 10 to 15 minutes, doesn't really matter, make sure to flip the chicken over and then set the timer for about 10 to 15 minutes so it can cook evenly on the other side. And then season the other side with garlic powder, seasoning salt, and onion powder once again. I mean, it doesn't say that to do it in the recipe, but I just do it because personal preference. Once those 15 minutes were up, I made sure to cut all the chicken in half and see if it was pink or not. And as you can see, it was a little bit pink, so I just let it cook for about an extra 5-10 minutes or so. And while I'm cutting the chicken, if you're interested in discovering more about getting cash back on groceries, then be sure to check out I Bought It at the link in the description below. So I just let it sit there on medium low heat, but after cutting the chicken, chicken, flipping around every now and then for about five to ten minutes, the chicken was complete. And voila, you got your a good easy garlic chicken recipe. And yes, it has A as the first word. And don't forget to turn the stove off too. I would highly recommend you do that to save some electricity. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty guys, so guys, it is review time. So, the chicken was super, super good. I had it with ranch like I always do. Rice was good too, you know, chicken and rice never goes wrong. It wasn't that dry either. I thought it was going to be dry, but no, it wasn't that dry, especially with like ranch and stuff. The seasoning tasted super good. I tasted the garlic powder, onion powder, salt. A little salty. But it was amazing though. You know what I mean? You can never have too much salt on this plate. So 10 out of 10, would highly recommend. Oh, didn't see you guys there. Well guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you know it. So that way you do not miss any more videos helping you out cook the healthy, cheap, and easy way. And I'll see you guys in the next video with another chicken recipe. Take care.